Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here at Disney Springs and we are joined with Tony for Hi, Valentine's friends. Day. How's it going? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to you, babe. Thank you. Now for today's video, we're here at Disney Springs and we're gonna try um, this charcuterie place that he really wants to do, right? I don't know the name of it, do you? I don't, I don't recall the name, friends, but once we find out, we will let you know. Yes. And we're also gonna go into the world of Disney and see if there's any new merchandise and just have some uh, magical fun here in Disney Springs. Are you ready? I am ready. Friends, and if you are enjoying these two beautiful faces right now, don't forget <laughs> to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, donate to the channel. It helps us out a lot. He is reaching hard. So with that said, <laughs> let's head inside Disney Springs and live our most magical life. <laughs> First things first, we are inside Disney Springs and it doesn't seem that crowded. For a Valentine's Day, it doesn't look too bad. Now, I do think that will change once it hits around five o'clock and people are out of work. This is gonna be their spot for a Valentine's Day dinner, which is basically what we're doing. So it's calm right now, but let's see in a few hours. And also really quick, guys, look at this turning red. The poster is here at Disney Springs. I am so excited to see this. This looks like it's gonna be a good one and Pixar never fails. It's gonna be released on Disney Plus March 11th. Also friends, I almost forgot to mention, we have a huge announcement at the end of this video, so stick around because it's gonna be a good one. Are you excited to tell them I am so what we're gonna excited, be doing? Friends. This is like, <laughs> I cannot contain myself. Go ahead, Bella Covey, just say it, just say uh, it, spit uh, it out. Uh, 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 because then they won't stay and watch the full video. You have to stay, watch the full video for you to get the uh, exciting news. Our first stop here at Disney Springs is Disney Style. Let's go check out some of the amazing merchandise they have here. I love this store so much. They have some of the like coolest pieces and we're gonna go check them out right now. So the first thing I'm seeing is this Baymax merchandise from Big Hero 6. Guys, this sweater, adorable, so cute. And look at this one too. Oh, he looks so adorable. I love this so much. How much is this sweater? Because I, I know this is for women's, but I don't know. A $59.99. Okay, that can stay cute right there. I walk away for one second and look at this guy. Having fun? <laughs> Check out this up tumbler. Add water for a 3D effect. So when you add water there, I guess that back there, the house with the balloons, looks 3D. Very, very cool. That is $19.99. Not awful. Super cute cup though. And here we have a little Valentine's Day collection. Oh boy, Valentine's Day. Oh, that's adorable. Super, super cute. Then they have these like pocketed t-shirts. J'adore Mickey Mouse. I think that's French, right? Is that French? Yep. J'adore. Yeah, see, I'm cultured. What did you find? This is a really nice sweater, guys. Look at this. Oh, that's Look at really, this. really cute. Is that meant? That's definitely women's, but I guess a guy can pull this off. I would definitely wear this. How much is it? 50. 50 bucks. Very cute. Super cute. There's not a lot of Valentine's Day merchandise. It just seems like stuff that is red and said, hey, it could work. <laughs> They have a lot of these adorable graphic tees that are only $24.99, which is not too bad. They have this Pinocchio one that says, no strings attached. And then there goes Pinocchio underneath. Now I'm not gonna unfold it because I used to work retail and I know the feeling of watching somebody come destroy your display. But that is a adorable shirt. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you remember me talking about the waffle collection. I love this. Now, they do have a lounge fly backpack that does match this, but how adorable is this? I do want to start collecting the spirit jerseys, but I want to find one that really speaks to me. This one is cute, but it's nothing I would like actually wear because white, I can't do white. Oh, look at the detail on the sleeve. There's a little, there's a little Mickey, Mickey waffle there. How adorable. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is this amazing Emperor's new groove sweater. Cusco, right? 
that's amazing. I wish I could wear this, but it's way too hot here in Florida for this. Super cute. All right, friends, so that was some of the merchandise at the Disney Style Store. I always love going in there to check out what's new. What did you think of some of the merchandise you saw? I thought some of the merchandise uh, was actually rent, uh, recyclables that they had from years and years and years, and they just probably brought it out for Valentine's Day. So maybe like limited edition collections or things that were just there maybe from last year and they brought it up, but pretty cool stuff. Okay, so the next stop is the M&M store here at Disney Springs. Let's go see if they have any Valentine's Day goodies. Here is the Valentine's Day collection here at the M&M store. Now, last year we did film a video where we came to Disney Springs for Valentine's Day and it looks like all of this is literally the exact same merchandise. So it doesn't seem to be anything too new, but I will say, very, very adorable. The love written in M&M's. They have a champagne bottle. Yum. The teddy bear. That's really adorable. Super, super cute. Now, the music is bumping here in the M&M store, but there isn't really anything too new. Now, we have done so many videos where we've shown the M&M store, so I think we're gonna just keep moving. I wanted to see if there was anything special for Valentine's Day, but not really. We've already seen that before, but if you've never been to the M&M store, I highly recommend checking it out. It is a lot of fun. It gives me like the New York City vibes. Do you remember the M&M store in Times Square? I sure do. That's that's the aesthetic it gives. Very fun. So again, if you want to see more of the M&M store, I'm going to leave that video linked down below so you guys can check it out. I forgot to mention, they did change the background here at the M&M photo op. They have added all those beautiful hearts for Valentine's Day. Super, super cute. I love that. So adorable. So those Valentine's Day crowds are now starting to show up. Look at the line for the steakhouse. Oh, and this is by reservation only, so... You gotta have a reservation if you want to dine here. Now here is Paradiso Den Taisiete. Oh my gosh, my Spanish is so bad. But this place is honestly delicious. But for Valentine's Day, you also need a reservation. But they do also offer a like quick service kind of area, like a walk-up bar. Now, I'm not sure if you can get food or not, but you can get a drink here because we've done it. We've gotten the margaritas here and they are delicious. So you guys, you have to try it if you're here. Earlier, we mentioned we wanted to try the charcuterie platter, and this is where we're gonna do it because we figured it won't be so crowded because it's like a, it's kind of like a quick service area. You can just grab it and go and then use the seating there, which is really nice. But guys, take a look at this. Look at the line for Gideon's right now. Insane. And then right over here, the boathouse. There's a huge crowd over there. I guess they're trying to sort out their res reservation issues or whatever, but now these crowds are starting to flood in. It is about 4, 4.15, so it's only gonna get worse from here, I think. Right behind me is Aaron McKenna's Bakery, which is originally from New York, right? It is originally a New York-based bakery that we used to love to go to when we were in New York City. So now they're finally here in Disney Springs. Yeah, I mean, they've been here for a while, but we've never done a video on it. But I only bring it up because I wanted to give a shout out to the cast member that works there because last time we were here for Vlogmas, I didn't film it, but we only went in there for literally like a cookie and he gave us so much free cake because the store was closing and I just, I don't know, it just came to my mind, so I thought I'd share it. Love that place, go check them out. Next up, we are heading to the World of Disney to see if they have any brand new merchandise or if they have anything for Valentine's Day. Now, it doesn't really make sense because by the time you guys are seeing this, Valentine's Day will be over, but maybe it'll enter the uh, oh Disney character warehouse. <gasps> Should we do a video at the probably, Disney character warehouse? We should probably do a video at Disney's character warehouse. I feel like in the spirits of doing it. The last time we were here at Disney Springs, this little area was completely closed at the Lego store. And now it looks like it's open again. So you can have some fun with the Legos. I love that that's back. All right, but here we go into the world of Disney to find some brand new merchandise. So the first new thing I'm seeing is this Minnie Mouse for the Shanghai Disney Resort. I love that they have this here. Maybe this is for Lunar New Year? Maybe? 
And right across from her are the Lunar New Year's ears. Now, I wish Disney World actually did something for Lunar New Year's. I know Disneyland has like a whole festival for it and I've seen it on TikTok. It looks so much fun. I wish Disney World would bring it here. Now, if you guys remember, I showed you the spirit jersey and here are the matching ears. How adorable. Look at the butter in the center. Isn't that so cute? Super cute. So far, we're not seeing a lot of new stuff. There's just still a bunch of the 50th anniversary merchandise, which I love to see, but uh, I've been coming so much that I'm kind of over the 50th. But, oh, what do you see? All the way down there. Something new? Oh yeah, something new. Let's go check it out. Tony found this sweater, which I've never seen before. Very, very beautiful gray Mickey Mouse, like spirit jersey, but I don't think it's really a spirit jersey. It has nothing in the back, but it does retail for 45. 45, 44 99 Really cute, I love this. This I have never seen. It is this Disney World windbreaker. It's really light, which is perfect for here in Florida on those rainy days. The inside, yeah, look how light that is. Really, really nice. Can you show them the back for me? Boom, 50th with Cinderella Castle. And then also the hood does pop out. So if you need a little protection from the rain, you have that option as well. That's super, super nice. How much was this? This is $64.99. Really cute, I really love this. Okay, friends, so that's going to do it for the Disney store. There wasn't too much uh, new merchandise, which which is okay. There's still a lot of the 50th stuff. Did anything in there pique your fancy at all? Um, I actually really enjoyed that uh, the last Mickey Mouse sweater that we got. Um, that we the got rain jacket yeah, thing? Not the rain jacket, the, one, the gray one. It was so nice. Oh, yes, I could yes. definitely see myself wearing something like that. Very cute. Clearly, I am a gray, black, and white guy so yeah yeah and my favorite was that windbreaker like rain jacket super light 65 dollars not bad less than a spirit jersey and you can wear that pretty much all year round because it was light enough love that so much as you guys can see it is starting to get busier here look at all these people just hustling and bustling through disney springs <laughs> And so today we are trying a swirl of Dole Whip, strawberry and chocolate soft serve with chocolate dipped strawberry garnish for $5.49. That's the picture. Look at that. A beautiful Valentine's Day treat. And you can find that here at the Marketplace Snacks. There he goes with the, what is this called again? It's the strawberry swirl. Strawberry and chocolate swirl. Look at that. Now, friends, this is only a Valentine's Day special, so they don't do this often. But let's give this a try because I am so excited and it's melting. So Tony's going to go first and try this. Give it a go. It's super icy. I taste more of the chocolate rather than the strawberry. But other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah. Not like the best, but it's pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to give this a go. Now this is the third Dole Whip we are trying. We've had the regular pineapple Dole Whip and that was amazing. And then we had the key lime, right? Or the lime Dole Whip in the Polynesian. And now this is the strawberry and chocolate. And I'm gonna get like, try to get both. Let's see. It's okay. It's all right. It's nothing to like write home from the war about, but. I like the strawberry. I think the chocolate tastes funny. Like the chocolate is too like icy, but the strawberry is really, really good. This is the strawberry that comes in there. I am assuming that it probably comes from one of the chocolatiers here nearby that they did a partnership with. Let's give this a try and see. That strawberry is fresh. Oh, that is a fresh, 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 a fresh strawberry. Looking strawberry. <laughs> that looks really, really good. It's not wilted, it's fresh. Yeah. Let me try whatever is left of the strawberry. Look at that, he left me nothing but stimulation. Ugh. I, I'm eating a leaf. 
<laughs> I am so eating a leaf right now. Mmm. It is tasty though. I would probably rate this on a scale of one to 10. A six, maybe, because presentation really carried it and the strawberry Dole Whip was amazing. I think the chocolate Dole Whip is what kind of killed it for me. All right, friends, I have to throw on the shades because it's literally golden hour here at Disney Springs. But Tony, what have you thought so far of today? Today, guys, it is so nice to see love in the air. Yes. I am that corny boy. Yeah. <laughs> there is a lot of love happening here at Disney Springs. It's so fantastic to see the couples completely dressed to the nines, ready to go out. It just makes our heart happy. Now, we decided, I'm gonna just spill the beans now. You know what I mean? Because I feel like some people might have fast forwarded to the end of the video to figure out what the surprise was. And I'm gonna share it with you right now. So our surprise and our Valentine's Day spectacular, which we are saving is, we are going to be staying at Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa this Friday, <gasps> which is basically yeah. right there. Well, I didn't, but our friend of the channel, Stephanie, was so gracious, Aww, again, thanks, for sharing Steph. her DVC points and booked us a room literally right across there. So on Friday, we are checking into the resort and I'm gonna give you guys a full resort tour, a room tour. I think we might pop into Disney Springs and maybe grab dessert. I don't think we're gonna have dinner because I know Saratoga Springs has some amazing like quick service areas and it is themed to like upstate New York, Saratoga Springs. Oh honey, we're gonna live. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really good time. Rich. <laughs> Just to give you guys a beautiful visual of the Saratoga Springs, there it goes, right over there. I am so, so excited to stay here. I've seen this every time I come to Disney Springs and I've always been like, oh my God, I would love to like walk through there. Speaking of walking through, there goes the bridge that connects you to all of Disney Springs. Guys, this is going to be a fantastic stay. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. And if you are, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. You're turning on your bell notifications so you do not miss our stay at Disney's Saratoga Springs. So we are back at the basket for the charcuterie platter. But uh, after reading the menu, Tony literally does not look too impressed with the menu. So let's see if we actually walk away with a charcuterie board. Because if not, I'm thinking about that mac and cheese food truck. That sounds good. I know my husband so well, so well. Everything in there, he was not vibing with. The charcuterie uh, platters are not really charcuterie platters. They're kind of like those pre-packaged like uh, cheese and meat little things, right? Yes. There's so. definitely something that you can get at CVS, at your local CVS or your local Walmart. But they're charging you $26, but charging you $26 for, it. for it. Now friends, they also have a other option that is not on the menu that is also from the restaurant George. It's called Restaurant George. And they have for $60, you can get an assortment of all meats and then also an assortment of cheeses, or you can split it between meat only and cheese only. And those will retail for $26 each. So something to think about. I'm very disappointed that I didn't get my charcuterie <laughs> at a budget. So uh, let's try something else. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're gonna go to the uh, mac and cheese food truck or that little food truck area that was by uh, Disney Style. Now, normally for Valentine's Day, we would do like one of these like luxury dining things, but we are going to Saratoga Springs this weekend. So we decided we're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day then, right? So right now we're just trying to keep it low key, but it's kind of hard to keep it low key at Disney Springs when you're getting offered a charcuterie platter that is uh, $26. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, let's head to the food truck. And so we made it to the food truck area. There goes the mac and cheese food truck. They have the hot diggity dog food truck. And then here is the Four Rivers Cantina. I think this is the one we're trying today, but let's see if maybe I can convince Tony into trying something from the Hot Diggity Dog, because I haven't tried that. I think that's the only one I haven't tried, besides this one here. 
We've done the mac and cheese food truck and we've had the fritters, the lobster mac and cheese, and it was delicious. So this never fails. Look how delicious that taco cone is. Oh my gosh. Uh, you wanna give it a try first? Yeah, sure. So friends, this is actually stuffed with a brisket. Um, and then the other one is gonna be stuffed with chicken. This has a beautiful cilantro. It has the um, sour cream, lime, pico de gallo, and uh, jalapeno, and a slice of guacamole. Good. Is it really so good? good. Yes. Wow, honey, it is a medley, like the previous video. A in medley, a medley of flavors. It's a medley of flavors in your mouth. All right, here we go. It's brisket in here. Yes. <gasps> wow, they give you a hearty helping of meat. Holy cannoli! And I am allergic to uh, avocado, but that's okay. I'll do anything for views. So. Oh. My God, that is really good. The meat is so delicious. It, it kind of has like a barbecue-ish taste to it, but it's not really. And the meat is like nice and tender. It doesn't feel like gamey. Like I think we had that problem last time, right? When we went to Universal. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Now, how much was this cone again? $12. $12, which is not bad. It's a pretty big cone. This can definitely feed too. Oh my God, delicious. And not spicy at all. The next one in our menu, friends, is actually the molitas. It is chicken. It is the osiaca queso. That is a, a true Mexican dish. Onions, cilantro. It is double stacked, friends. So if you have meat and meat, top and bottom, Oh my god. Is that good as well? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, give us a review. That meat is so tender. And it's so crunchy. The, 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 I think it's the tostada that's in there. It's super crunchy. It just makes it music in your mouth as you're, oh my god. what this is I'm not too sure but the flavors are so good it seems like there's this bread inside here and it is so crispy and so delicious I see why you wouldn't want to share this with me this is so good all right friends so literally three seconds later the entire meal is finished and I just have to say that is probably the most delicious thing we have ever eaten here at Disney Springs and we did eat at the um uh, Paradiso 37, right? And we had the poutine fries there, and those were delicious, but this definitely takes the cake. What did you think? Any last thoughts? I mean, I'm eating the cone. <laughs> <laughs> it was that good, friends. Yeah, it, it literally was the best meal. And I am someone who doesn't really enjoy, like, fine dining or, like, sit-down meals. I love quick service i love that you can just grab it and go that's why we don't really do a lot of that on the channel here is because i just really don't care to like sit down and wait but this is the best best meal here at disney springs you have to check it out 10 out of 10 experience on that note friends that is going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe also turn on your bell notifications so you get notified whenever i post a brand new video you can follow me on all social media platforms at bello kevy and tony thank you so much for being a part of this video i had a blast today happy thank valentine's day happy valentine's day to you buddy <laughs> No, that's a wrap. As always, I love you for watching and I will see you uh, on Friday. On Friday for Saratoga Springs back there. Uh, I love you. I love you too. He's mad. Bye. 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 Hey there, friend. Just because the video's over doesn't mean the magic has to end. Click here or here to keep living your most magical life. And don't forget to subscribe.